Hi, my name is Ben Stanker. Uh, this is a video abstract to accompany a paper published in Gastroenterology. Uh, this is a result of a collaboration between my lab at the University of Pennsylvania and Nabil Bardisi's lab at Mass General Hospital. And uh, the title of the study is Inhibition of Gamma Secretase Activity Inhibits Tumor Progression in a Mouse Model of Pancreatic Ductal Adenocarcinoma. Uh, the study was performed in an effort to better understand the molecular pathogenesis of pancreatic cancer, which is the fourth leading cause of cancer death in the United States. Uh, there uh, is a paucity of treatments uh, for pancreatic cancer outside of um, uh, surgical resection. Uh, and uh, our study focused on the NOTCH pathway, which is an evolutionarily conserved signaling pathway uh, that's been implicated in the pathogenesis of a number of cancers, uh, including acute leukemia. I'll show you some slides. The NOTCH pathway is shown on this first slide, which becomes activated when the NOTCH receptor binds to its ligand, resulting in receptor cleavage by an enzyme called gamma secretase. Following this cleavage event, the intracellular domain of the receptor is free to migrate to the nucleus, where it participates in a transcriptionally active complex. Our study was based on two observations about NOTCH signaling that are relevant to the pancreas. As shown on the next slide, several studies have shown that this signaling pathway plays an important role during pancreatic development. Specifically, NOTCH signaling inhibits the differentiation of pancreatic progenitor cells to its various lineages, exocrine cells, endocrine cells, and duct cells, keeping those progenitors in an undifferentiated state. In addition, as is shown on the next slide, work from Steve Leach's lab at Johns Hopkins showed that the pathway is active in a subset of pancreatic cells known as centroacinar cells. These cells reside at the junction between the exocrine cells and the duct cells. Furthermore, this pathway remains active in premalignant lesions as well as pancreatic cancers. Given these observations, we tested the hypothesis that notch signaling is required during pancreatic carcinogenesis. To do this, we employed a widely used model of pancreatic cancer that incorporates mutations in the KRAS oncogene and the P53 tumor suppressor gene. These mice develop a series of premalignant lesions known as PANINs for pancreatic intraepithelial neoplasia and ultimately develop ductal carcinoma with a mean latency of around 22 weeks. We exploited the fact that small molecule inhibitors of the gamma secretase enzyme prevent NOTCH signaling, and we obtain such an inhibitor through a collaboration with Merck. As shown on the next slide, mice treated with the gamma secretase inhibitor, or GSI, between 6 and 13 weeks of age had a marked decrease in the number of PANIN lesions. More significantly, cancer progression was completely blocked by the drug. Control animals treated with this compound remain healthy without overt ill effects, and biomarkers such as intestinal differentiation showed that the drug was an effective inhibitor of notch signaling in vivo. Thus, gamma secretase activity is required for pancreatic cancer progression, most likely through notch. Consistent with this possibility, Charlie Murtaugh at the University of Utah has shown directly that notch cooperates with mutant KRAS, the most common mutation in pancreatic cancer, to promote uh, premalignant progression. Clearly, further work is needed to determine whether the notch pathway is a viable target for therapy in pancreatic cancer. It's worth mentioning one other feature of this study, which is that it utilized a genetically engineered mouse to test drug efficacy. This is in contrast with traditional methods for testing anti-cancer compounds, which have relied upon xenografted human tumor cell lines. However, efficacy in xenograft models has not translated into clinical success for many compounds. There's been optimism that the more complex tumor biology reflected in genetically engineered models may prove more predictive, and thus we're encouraged by the efficacy of GSI in this preventive setting. Uh, this study was supported by uh, a number of different groups, including the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, or PANCAN, and we're grateful for their support. And uh, I hope that you have enjoyed uh, this video abstract.